Oh, hi everyone. I thought we could do a sort of meme review. Here's what a few billionaires would owe with a wealth tax. Jeff Bezos, 5.7 billion. Wow, 5.7 billion. Imagine what the workers could do with that. All that money going to the government? Wow, you can just imagine the uh, amazing amount of money that is. Elon Musk, 4.6 billion. Wow, can you imagine what you would do with that? Bill Gates, 3.6 billion. Wow, that would leave them with. 185 billion, 149 billion for Mr. Musk. Mr. Gates would have a 116 billion dollars. Wow. Somebody tells me they'd be okay. It's time for the ultra wealthy to pay their fair share. Wow, that adds such a good freaking meme, isn't it, guys? They should pay their fair share. What is the fair share? Well, to be honest, it's whatever people feel like. What can we do with all that money? What can the American government do? Wow, look, 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 look at all the money, comrades. $13.9 billion. That's so much money. We could have a great revolution. Oh, think of the free healthcare. We could get rid of all the university debts in the country. Everyone could get a flying car and we could all fly to the moon for $13.9 billion, guys. Uh, oh. Wait, what's this? Right now, the Treasury, and that's the United States Treasury, pays about 2.4 billion per day on average for interest. Wait, 2.4 billion a day on interest? Oh man, that sucks. That means for all the wealth tax, all the sort of stealing these people's money because they've already paid the appropriate amount of tax, I assume, all of that will go to waste because, well, it's just six days debt interest. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. That sucks. Anyway, since we're here, I guess we could look at how, like, socialists or whatever, or maybe people who don't really understand economics thinks that these people get rich. So um, this is how they basically think, right? You have a worker here. And the worker's got his pickaxe and he's producing wealth, right? He's producing like loads of wealth, him and his little pickaxe smashing away at the coal face. And he gets to keep some of it. Some of it goes off to the government to fund all the wonderful social programs like uh, war and um, all the other wonderful things government does. And um, then there's this wicked man here. Mr. Musk, who probably owns like Twitter and, you know, who's like saving the environment with his electric cars, you know, doing all the sort of musky things he does. And he gets all the surplus labor from this poor man with his axe. Uh, of course, the government take a bunch too, but that's how he gets rich. It's this guy with his axe banging away, Musk taking like a bunch of his income. Okay, that's the theory. The reality is workers are typically paid 80 to 90% of their value and uh, you would say, well, what about the other 10 to 20%? It's just um, a random place. It doesn't actually matter where this is. Completely unrecognizable, guys. I'm sure you'll agree. Let's call it um, Musk Donalds, okay? Um, so if someone gets a job at Musk Donalds, um, shouldn't it be, you know, giving the workers all of their surplus labor. Why would it take surplus labor from the poor workers? Well, okay, the surplus labor that socialists might talk about or communists actually pays for people to actually do the job. So for a start, you need capital, right? This restaurant isn't gonna open itself. You need someone with a lot of capital to put money into this place, to make it look nice, to um, hire the site or to buy the site. Um, this actually takes a heck of a lot of money to put together. And if you don't actually have the capital invested, then labor is literally worthless, right? Here's a lovely picture of um, my mate Ben carrying his uh, food around the forest. Yeah, well, you might notice that Ben is a really hardworking bear, okay? He's got all this food and he carries it around the forest, but he doesn't make any wealth because nobody really wants to buy Ben's food, right? He just wanders around the forest. The problem is, right, this is Ben's restaurant. 
It has no tables, it has no chairs, it has no air conditioning, it has like nothing for people to really sort of enjoy um, Ben's meal, right? So, okay, Ben's labour is basically worthless. Here's another picture of Ben, right? Sort of serving his uh, food up for everyone to eat. You might notice there's nobody here. There's no car parking, right? Um, there's no fire either, so all of this stuff is raw. Um, and uh, yeah, I thought we could have a little look at my word cloud. Here we go. Here are some of the expenses that you would have to pay if you owned a Muck Musks training. You need to actually train your staff, repair, um, if you've got cars or whatever, phone bill, compliance, you've got to comply with local bureaucracy, franchise, so you want to be a member of McMusk, you have to pay your franchise fee, premiums, lease, that's a really, really big one, bills, pest insure, you know, getting rid of pests, expenses, fees, you get the idea, guys. Taxes down here, legal, payroll. So here's the thing, right? The um, the hard-working bear, right? You would say the bear deserves all the value of its labour. Well, no, actually, because all of this stuff needs to be paid for as well. And if there's any profit left over, should it go to Mr. Bear, right, for surplus labour? Well, to be honest, the guy who just put, like, a few million dollars into the McMusks here uh, actually deserves to get some of that money back. I mean, that is the whole freaking point of uh, capitalism, and that's the only reason why you would put money into a McMusk is because you want to make a return, you know? People can spend their money however they want, so it's not like they have to put it into a franchise like this. Might be a good investment, you never know. Um... But yeah, people just get really, really confused. So, um, another thing that I hear all the time is the worker creates all the value, right? They create all the value and it's just stolen. And the worker is exploited by Mr. Musk here, right? He exploits the worker and takes their surplus labor. Well, we already saw that every single business has a lot of costs to cover, so that's some of the profit, or surplus labour, as we call it. Um, additionally, um, this guy here, right, he can raise a massive amount of capital. He um, is very, very good at what he does. He's, you know, pretty famous, and he's clearly pretty good at whatever it is he does, so he is actually worth every single penny for the people who give him money you know, give him because he brings so much value to any kind of proposition. And okay, if you're not really very well thought about this, you might say, well, isn't he just still exploiting the sort of labor of this guy? Not really. This guy, right? The pickaxe um, is paid for by the company. Um, maintenance of the mine is paid for by, you know, the company, etc. Yeah, this guy's going to be generating some wealth and, you know, this should be paid fairly and whatever, obviously. But look at this, okay? If you have the idea that every single worker is basically producing all the wealth and all the labour, no. I mean, you could argue that, you know, workers made the robots, yeah, but also you can have robots that produce robots. Now, nearly all of this is sort of automated, and I think they're actually building mobile phones and um, small bits of technology here. And again, workers were involved at some point, but most of the labour that's going on here isn't actually human labour, it's machine labour. It's... Um, machines that are now learning and becoming smarter yeah these were ultimately built by humans but the point is not all human labor is you know the only source of wealth these robots are producing an awful lot of wealth as well and as we move into the future we're going to see more and more and more robots doing more and more i don't know if you guys have been keeping up with a lot of what robots are doing and there's ro rumors for some um, artificial general intelligence is actually really, really close. Um, it may have already been achieved, although obviously these are just rumours. But if we do have um, artificial general intelligence, that would actually mean that it's not just humans anymore doing the intellectual and thinking parts of the economy. It's going to mostly be robots. Already, 
most of the stock market is run by robots. A lot of Amazon warehouses are run by robots. You know, they employ millions of the things. Um, I say employ, they build and use them. But uh, robots are a massive part of the economy, and I think they're only going to become a bigger part of the economy in the future. And um, I don't know, I just wanted to put this video out there, basically refuting this wealth tax, because so what's Jeff Bezos doing? Um, so he started Amazon, right? One of the um, biggest shopping places on the planet, along with Alibaba, for example, that's um, another big competitor. Um, he has created a service which, you know, millions and millions of people all around the world use. And, you know, he is obviously getting quite a lot of money for that. But that's because, for whatever reason, he was very successful. Elon Musk has his um, hands in a lot of different projects. Um, like I say, he's working on artificial intelligence robots, which could do a lot of work in the future. Um, He's also working on electric cars. You know, I think his long term plan is to develop asteroid mining and asteroid mining. Let me tell you, the amount of resources in space are absolutely phenomenal. Asteroid mining could make Elon Musk, as well as everyone else involved, unbelievably rich by extracting metals and stuff from space, right? So Elon Musk, he's sort of helping to build the future of humanity. Bill Gates, what is he doing? Well, okay, I'm not even gonna talk about Bill Gates because, you know, I don't even know um, all kinds of strange things, but yeah, let's not go there. Anyway, the wealth tax wouldn't even cover six days of the American government's interest. Um, these guys aren't actually very rich compared to, say, BlackRock, which isn't worth um, $185 billion. It is worth $10 trillion, right? $10 trillion. Don't believe me? Well, have a look at this. Um, BlackRock Inc. is an American multinational investment company. It's the world's largest asset managed manager with over 10 trillion in assets 10 trillion guys <laughs> and people focus on like people like elon musk who um is rich individually but the people who run blackrock and all the other organizations like this are so much richer and so much more powerful really you know these guys own most of the you know world's brands certainly the western brands like what we've got apple here microsoft um, Amazon, Google, P&G, so that's a lot of food production, um, a lot of stuff, you know? They've got their fingers in a lot of pies. And there's other organisations out there which are so much friggin' richer. So I just think these memes are kind of cringe. And I hope that's um, the meme thoroughly debunked. Um, let me know what you think in the comments and I will speak to you soon.